ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Subnautica, and guess what we just found? That's right, I went searching and I finally found moon pool fragments. I also found something called a thermal generator, I think. And um, I found something else interesting. First of all, I found lots of uh, this junk, which is aluminum oxide, I think. And I also found... Uh, this basalt which has a high chance of dropping gold I don't know if it drops anything else but that's all I've gotten from it so far yeah I did a little bit of exploration that's just quartz and that's gonna be just salt um, just check if there's anything else now that's just another moon prune side fragment which I don't need and yeah, I'm out to discover this place now. I have no idea what it's called, but there's lots of these big floaty oaks and these membrane trees and where in the hell did I leave my... I can't remember where I left my... Oh boy, this is bad. <laughs> this is very, very bad. I don't have a chance. Of I do not have a choice. I have to go for the surface. There it is. I can make it. I can make it. So yeah, I'm going to show you where I am because I discovered something else really surprising, actually. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, that was close. Okay. So I'm going to br break for the surface. And then I'm going to show you something I really did not expect to see in this game. I'm genuinely surprised by this, and uh, I'm a little bit confused by it, and rather fascinated, and other interesting things, because um, I think it's in this direction. Maybe not. I think I'm, that's the base, so I think it's in this direction, maybe. Nope. God damn it. Ah, uh, this is weird. Okay. Maybe it's off in this direction a bit. Yes, it is. There's land. There's an honest to goodness island here. See? I mean, graphically, it's a bit glitchy. But it's there. I'm really kind of <laughs> bemused by the fact that this exists. I'm kind of curious as well as to how it's floating, because that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, I'm also kind of curious, can I build on land? Can I make a, a land base? Is it possible to do that? Because it would be kind of cool to have a base on the land. It really would be cool to have a base on land and just kind of walk down to the moon pool, which I pres still am presuming is the yoke that lets me um, get on board my, that lets me modify my sea moth. Wow, that is so glitchy. I'm almost frightened to go onto it in case I glitch through it. Because <laughs> that has happened to me before in games. There's one game in particular, I think it's called Entropia. I could be wrong about that. But the very first thing I did in the game was glitch through the world. I promptly deleted it. It's not very big. Ah, do we have a beach? We have some beachfront property. Now this could be interesting. Can I beach it? Yep, we beached it. Okay. I'm kind of curious now. I wouldn't imagine there's much in the way of wildlife at this point in the game, but... Um, how much space do I have? Not a lot, but at least I've still got some water. I have... I thought I had some food with me. Um, 
I'm sure I had some food with me. But I'm not too hungry yet anyway, so that's alright. Um, I presume this is what one of those signals was pointing me towards, because uh, I'm really kind of surprised that this is here. And I would imagine that this is a placeholder for something that's going to appear in the game later. Because it, it's almost like two... It's almost like too good to be true that this has just appeared here. I can't imagine that it's not here for a reason. Yeah, I'm not going to risk falling into the water on the other side of the island. Because then I'll have to swim all the way around. Uh... Purple vase plants. I wonder, do they have a purpose yet? No. Hmm. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna have to drop something, aren't I? I can always pick up more gold. I know where to get it in large quantity now, so. And I can always drop some of that if I have to. <laughs> this is kind of awesome. After playing this game for like six episodes now, I think, it's nice to actually go, oh, there's some la- Ah, uh, crap. Um, what else can I drop? I can drop you. I can drop one of you. Oh, I do have food. Cool. No. I really don't know how much of this I'm going to need. And I do know how to find this place now. So I'm not hugely concerned about finding it again. But this is kind of cool. Actually, this is really cool. Okay, why are there pathways? I mean, we haven't seen anything that would point towards any kind of terrestrial life. So why in the hell are there pathways? Um, I dropped two of those. Hmm. This a lot of sense does not make. Okay, that takes me back to where I was, I think. I'm going to go underneath this as well, because I'm kind of curious. I'm wondering how in the hell it's staying up. Because it's floating. It's definitely floating. Okay. That just brings me back around. Um... This is... <laughs> I'm actually kind of dumbfounded. I I can't believe that this is in this game. I can't believe it just appears out of nowhere. Okay, so that's back the way I came. Man, the Aurora is a long way away. Um, I wonder if there's something up over there. Oh... Yeah, this all, it's like just when I don't think this game can really surprise me anymore, it throws a frickin' lost at me and there's an island randomly in the middle of the ocean. I want to see if I can get up higher on this pinnacle and see if there's anything there. Because, uh, yeah, this is really cool. This is actually... What did I... Okay. This is actually awesome. The fact that there are things you can pick up would say to me that this is an in-progress area in the game. 
that it's not an area that's complete yet and that they're just it's placeholder almost at least that's what I'm hoping because it would be amazing if they're going to add things like I don't know like uh, terrestrial based life or even a small civilization or something hmm I think I may have just got yeah I, I've come back onto the same place now oh uh, that's bad I don't know if, I don't know if falls will hurt me because <laughs> I haven't had to deal with them before but I would presume so this is so freaking cool oh do you know what it could be they're, they have been saying that they're going to add farming to this game for food so I wonder if that's what this is. If this is the the prep for far, for the farming add-on. Uh, that would make sense. Anyway, regardless, this is like this is seriously cool. Right, where is my sea moss? Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, let's have a look underneath. Holy crap. Uh, I think they're giant floaters. I mean, I suppose that's what they are. Oh, okay, those are... Ah. Uh, where the hell is my sea moth? <laughs> I can't... I keep losing my submarine. That's a bad thing in this game. Ow. Whoa, what keeps that kind of seems more like something attacking me rather than me running into anything, but I could be wrong, I suppose. This is seriously cool. This is nice game design. I never, ever expected this. Oh, hang on. What the hell? There's a cave. Okay, I didn't expect that. I wonder, actually, there is something I should try while I'm here. Holy crap. You can build on land. And there's lithium here apparently you can build on land I can actually build a base on land I think that will have to happen yes I think that is a thing that should happen as this would be a great place to dock Wow, I'm actually surprised. I thought <laughs> I thought that my lights weren't on. Okay. Uh, anyway. For today, I 
think we should head back to my base and, uh... Let's just confirm that I'm right about the positioning of this. Okay, so it's almost directly behind the Aurora. Cool. I think we should head back to base. I think we should eat and drink. And then I think we should build a moon pool. And I should start modding my sea moss because that seems like a thing to do. I'm absolutely blown away by that. I, I know I keep saying that, but every time I think this game doesn't have anything else to surprise me with, well, it, it throws one of those up. That's the Mercury Ore, by the way. That's where I got it from. It's almost directly behind my current base. I just had to go further to find the Moon Pool Fragments, which... I suppose I shouldn't really be surprised in this game, but, you know... It is how it is. Now, I would like to build us two Moon Pools if I can. Wow, that was lag. Um... Yeah, if I can build two moon pools, I will. Because then I'll be able to build a second sea moth and have a backup in case disaster strikes. And I do genuinely think I'm going to build a base on land. Like, have it extend into the sea so that I have um, easy access to an anchorage. Cool, okay, so it's off to the left. Oh yeah, turn off your lights when you're done with your sea moth. It saves a lot of energy. Thank you. What do I need for a moon pool? I need four titanium ingots, four lubricant and advanced wiring kit, but first of all I need... Nah. Um, hang on, what do I have for a start? Uh, I have no idea what any of those are, so... Um, they go into this locker because I don't know what they are yet. Lithium, I do. Um, I really don't know yet. Um, dump into my lith that lithium in here. Um, let's cook our, cook a Reginald and whatever the hell it is and. Uh, Let's eat it. Delicious. As you can see, I've put some fish in here. They're going to be joined by two more. I hope none of them are actually carnivorous. Um, four titanium oh, nuggets, uh, ingots. Uh, what? Hang on. What the? Uh, Okay, so we need four lube, wasn't it? And I have one. That's not nearly enough. Uh, I don't have any in that. That's okay. Do I have any in there? Okay, so we need to get lube. Right, and you know something? I'm going to build another locker just because I am short on organic storage. Oh, quartz, yeah. That would be a thing I need. Okay, so I have no idea what any of those are for, but we will... Store them. I should probably see if that opened up anything in here. No. No tool, no new tools. A stasis rifle I have. I haven't built it yet though. I sh probably should build it really. I mean, it's potentially useful. Okay, I need gold and a computer chip and a computer chip is silver and table quartz. So I need one of those anyway. Actually, I'm going to make two of these. So I'm probably going to need two of those. So I need uh, 
Oh crap, I only have one silver. That's not good. Um, electronics, computer chip. And I need gold by two, not by one. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Not ideal, but you know what? It won't take too long. Um, how much of this do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah, let's just take as much as we can. Okay. One. And we're out. Okay, that's... I'm glad I gathered a lot of titanium. That's three. And that's four. I think. One, two, three, four. I have a wiring kit. What I will do is... I'll build the second one off camera because, you know... Why not? Let's do that thing that way. And um, I need silver and I need, well, I need vine thingies more than anything else, to be honest. I need lube. So, seeing as I require lube, I suppose I should go and get lube. Uh, how much do I have? That's enough. That's plenty. I'm going to just have a quick look and see if we can get any more. Well, I'm going to have to gather a lot more titanium, so I might as well head back to base and make up the loop, and then we can build the first of those. And the first of those is going to come off this end here. At least that is the plan. Oh, I'm out of power. Okay, so we require lube. And I hope I have enough. Uh, what? Yeah, I might as well make a lot because I'm probably going to... Like I said, I'm going to build a separate, second sea moss anyway. Just to have a backup. Da, 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 da. No, I need one more than that. Oh, I gathered a lot of stalker teeth as well. It seemed like a good idea. Right, moonpool. Moonpool.com Um... Was that the side I wanted to build? Yeah, that's the side I want to build it off. So, we will take off the hatch. Because as awesome and all as that hatch has been, it is time to build something better. <laughs> 